wonderful. That's wonderful. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of my car story. And today, well, why not have a Corvette Classic? Russ, what's your last name? Toms, T-O-M-S. And Russ, what did you bring today? A 1963 Corvette uh, Stingray. The Three. split window. Split window, only one year. Only one year for the split window. So come right alongside me and let's talk about your car. First of all, why don't we start in the right spot? which is right there in the split window. So the first question is, how long have you had this one? I've had this uh, car about 16 years. So 16 years, I know you're a car collector and this was actually your first car you collected. Why did you have to have the split window? Well, as I mentioned to you earlier, uh, they've gone through a lot of uh, redesigns on the Corvette, but through all the years, uh, and here we are in uh, 2021, only one year did the uh, design uh, offer a split rear window, and to this day, that's one of the most iconic designs of the uh, brand. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect, and you can see we've got the right day to video the car. I'll just let you sit on that for a second. If I had the choice between a coupe or a convertible on the 63, it oh, would yeah. be <laughs> the split the, window. Yeah. The other thing unique to the 63, the only one with those grills. Yes. And also that little hole so the water drain can up. drain out, yeah. which, by the way, I'm sure this one never sees rain. <laughs> <laughs> so those, those are there for show. Now, you have an interesting story where you found this one. Where'd you find this one at? I found this... Uh, car out in uh, De uh, Delaware. Delaware. And it was owned by an Air Force major who was retired. And uh, he was not in the best of health and was looking to uh, get rid of some of his co toys. So this was one of them that attracted me. Flew out there, worked out a... Uh, May I? Arrangement for both of us. May I? Thank you. Acceptable and uh, and the deal, needless to say, worked yes, out. Had it shipped back and I've had it ever since. Well, he's done. First of all, he's been a wonderful caretaker, and you can see this looks well, pretty much brand new. What do you think? Do you, do you get a, a couple thousand miles on it every year, or you care for an interesting story yeah, about sure. these wheels? Sure, please. Okay. The wheels on this car, the wheels on this car were optional. Uh, you could get a standard hubcap for the year, and then these are knockoff uh, uh, Kelsey Hay wheels with the spinner here that you get a, a, a actual lead sled, a small handheld sledgehammer with the car, and that sledgehammer is used to spin this off and, it'll and take pull them the off. wheel. The interesting thing about these wheels is that when they were first option, mm -hmm. optioned, it was uh, a $400 option wow. on the car. And uh, at the factory, they produced about 100 cars and put them out on the lot for early shipment to the dealers. And when they went out to the lot the following day, every one of the cars had flat tires. Really? And they learned that the alloy that Kelsey Hayes, Hayes was using had a porousness to it that allowed the air to seep right through the metal. And so from that point on, for the next uh, three months, this was only a dealer uh, uh, installed option. They didn't make them at the plant because they didn't have the uh, correct alloy in production yet. That and then from that point on, uh, with the correct alloy, you could air order it as an option from uh, Chevrolet. I did not know that. That is great. I'm going to go back to the interior and just feature that for just a second. And I love the the hook on that door and you can see that it fits in to that slot. So let's first of all notice we have the right amount of pedals on this one, which is great. You've got your headlights here. Wonderfully Chevrolet Corvette. I'll let you just take that in. 
They did all the gauges really well on this one too. And the optional four speed. So we've got the right wheels. Really looks great. Let's take a look under the hood because we've actually got something interesting there too. We've got the hood positioned just right so that the sun, well, does that. Now right off the bat when I saw your car, Russ, I saw these. Tell us what these are because I usually don't see those Yes, on the car. those are called static shields. Okay. They came uh, with the car as, as well as this tower, and it was to shield the electronics uh, uh, from this, uh, the uh, radio so that it would reduce the static uh, that was given off by the engine. The other thing that's important is this, which I'm featuring right here which is 340 horsepower. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, they made four engines in 1963. The top of the line was a 360 horse fuel injected engine. Mm -hmm. This was the next step down, a 340. Uh, uh, both 360 and the 340 mm -hmm. had solid lifters. And this runs a single quad. Then below that are two uh, uh, levels, both with hydraulic lifters, a 300 horse, and a 250 horse. And the majority of those cars were bought with the power glide transmissions. It wasn't until you got up to the uh, 340s and 360s that the four speeds started to be the more standard uh, purchase by the owner because he was looking for the maximum performance. Maximum performance. And speaking of that, now, did, did, I'm assuming all the chrome came with the car at the time. Yes, everything as, uh, as it was purchased. the tags, it all looks so good, and the plastic pieces, let me just give you kind of a look there. Well, while we have it open, let's uh, let's give it a uh, fire, we'll uh, let it idle, and then we'll give it a little exhaust note. Can you step on the brakes for just a second? Go ahead, Russ, give me a good round. <laughs> oh, it's got a it's got a beautiful body rock to it. Let's uh, shut the hood and let's open the headlights for just a second. Perfect. Russ, let's take it for a ride. Okay, come on in. So I'm here with Russ and we're taking a ride in the split window and just for clarity you can see well, there's your split window, and that's what it looks like when you're in traffic. Russ, what a great car. I mean, uh, fantastic interior. The color combination of the really white really pops. I can see why you fell in love with this car when you found it. Yeah, I feel lucky to have uh, found it. There's uh, a lot of uh, Corvettes out there, but I've always liked the 63. And then they have this option the way it is with the 340 engine and uh, solid lifters. It combined not only uh, the sportiness of the uh, car with the aggressiveness of a uh, uh, more powerful engine. So, and the all important four speed that this one has, it just looks great. Really the iconic Corvette, right? I mean, the 63 is, in my opinion, top of the line. You know, you could say the new C8 or something like that, but when you think Corvette, and if you had to pick just one, it would be the 63 for sure. 
me, it's just, just a great vehicle. Well, they've been making Corvettes ever since 1953, and uh, through all the model, uh, models that they brought to market, uh, the 63 split window is still uh, one of the most mm. iconic, if not the most iconic in the brand. And so uh, it, it, it was that factor that drove me to search one out uh, and enjoy it myself. As you can see, we're driving on a perfect day with the split window. And that is a great way to sign off on this video. What a great time. Thanks so much, Russ, for allowing us to take a ride in your car. What a fun time. Uh, my pleasure.